Hi, let's see how we get rid of unwanted characters in UiPath with the help of the .NET command replace. So first off, we got a new path open window here. We got a data set in Excel with only one value. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, but um, imagine that this could be a thousand values, then it would be a bit more difficult. And then we have um, a data set here in Notepad, uh, consists of the uh, same numbers but with the dashes in here. And we want to compare these two numbers, only the numbers. And um, so if they're the same, the same numbers, it's a match. But we couldn't really because um, we have these uh, dashes here. So what we can do is using the .NET command replace. Let's see how that works. So we'll drag in two assigns. I can search for it if it's more easy, like this. We'll drag in two assigns like this. Then we will um, control K, um, string one. Could we call uh, the first string and string two, oh, control K, string two, like this. Then we got two strings. We'll change them here. And then the value is simple, just the value from over here. So we'll copy this one in like this, and then we'll copy this one in. So our problem is that your path will not treat those two values as the same, even though it's the same numbers. So uh, what we do, we'll create an if, just to see uh, if it's match or not. So we could say string one is equal to string two, like this. And then we can drag in two message boxes, uh, telling us the result. So this one here, we can say this is a match. And over here, this isn't a match. This uh, is not a match like this. And we could try to run it. So what is happening now, we got two values assigned here. And then we'll um, make this if conditioned on the string one equal to a string two. And that's not true, so it, we will uh, move over here to the else and uh, a message box will show up with this is not a match. Let's see how that works. We'll wait a bit, UI path will run and it's, it says that this is not a match. That's what we expected, but we want them to match because it's the same numbers. So how do we do? Well, we to our uh, string two here with the dashes, we'll assign the uh, .NET command replace like this. And then um, we uh, will make open parentheses. And then we can see that um, we should type in the old value as string and then the new value as string. So first off, what, what, we do we, what do we want to get rid of? We want to get rid of the dashes. So we'll make quotation marks and put in this uh, dash here. And then we'll make a comma because that's uh, what it says here. And then we want a new value. So we really don't want anything, but just want uh, nothing. So we'll just do this. That's the most easy thing to do. And now uh, we get rid of we got rid of the, the dash here while assigning the value. Let's see if uh, it worked. So right now uh, those two values should be the same, and we should end up here with this is a match. Let's try that. This is a match. Mission accomplished. Thank you for now. Bye bye.